Mike Abdo with us from Mid Valley. We're talking about the Spartans basketball program. And uh, Mike, what's it going to look like here in 2018-19? Um, you know, we're just working hard to get better every day. Uh, you know, it's it's going to be a process like it was last year. But uh, I, I think you know, middle of the season, end of the season, I, I, I think we'll be you know very very good. I think right now we're we're a good basketball team that you know just needs some work. But um, you know the, the guys are very hard workers, and we've been in the gym. We've been working really hard and doing everything that's asked of them. So uh, it's a process. They understand that. We understand that. And and I think uh, you know by mid-year we'll be very good. Put the ball in the basket. Talk about the guys this year. More than one. You know what do you have offensively? At you're going to be able to do and you think that gets a little better as well as the year goes on yeah um i, I think we're very balanced this year um you know I've, I've been doing this a while and sometimes you you have uh teams where you have one stud or you know one or two guys that you have to get the ball a certain amount of times i, I think you know this year we're very balanced uh as far as our scoring um inside mike miller uh, has come a long way. He's gotten a lot better. Uh, Vinny Toludo is also another forward we'll use. Uh, Brendan Koharski could put the ball in the basket down low. So, um, you know, we, we have some guys that can score. And then, and then um, our guards are, you know, guys that can shoot, guys that can drive, pass. So it's just a matter of, of just getting it all to, to gel together. But, uh, yeah, we can, you know, score in a variety of ways. But uh, it's just a matter of getting it together and, and coming together as a team. Something like good old hard defense, <laughs> something that you like to uh, to do there at Mid Valley. Yeah. Um, I'm sure we're going to get the same there. Yeah, no changes there. Um, you know, we preach defense every day. That's our focus. Um, you know, in, in the game of basketball, you're going to have off nights. You're going to have nights where things don't go your way for whatever reason. You're going to battle injuries and stuff. But at the end of the day, you have to play defense if you want to be consistently good. And uh, that's what our staff has been preaching every day. Defense, limit turnovers, and we'll, we'll be very good. We'll be in every game. So that's, uh, you know, that's something that can, can never take a night off is our defense. How about the league itself uh, playing these teams? It's going to be some really, really good competition yep. in the Lackawanna League this season. Yeah, um, it's, it's probably one of the toughest divisions uh, in the state. I, I really believe that uh, just because... We're, we're all so close to each other, uh, similar mindsets, you know, tough blue-collar kids from blue-collar areas, and, um, you know, I think the league will be very, very difficult. Last year, um, we started exhibition season. We loaded up our exhibition schedule in preparation for the league. Uh, we ended up 3-5, and five, but then we went 10-2 and two in the league, and, um, you know, so we, we basically have the same schedule this year, so uh, we had two really competitive scrimmages um, against uh, Crestwood and also Scranton Prep. Um, and then we loaded up our exhibition schedule to try to, you know, basically just to prepare for our league because we know how tough it is. Well, uh, it'd be interesting to see the Spartans here hit the court 2018. Mike, uh, great to see you and we wish you the best. Thanks, Coach. Brendan Koharski joins us here on the John Mandola Show. Uh, Brendan, uh, the beard's getting a little nicer here yeah. in your senior year. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about uh, basketball this year. What what coach expects of you? Um, just come off the bench, um, try to score if I could, and just grab rebounds, just make hustle plays, and bring some energy. Let's talk about defense. Something that he preaches at uh, at Mid Valley. Um, you know, talk about when you get in the game. What he expects of you in that position. Um, defensive wise, he just um, expects me to stay low, stay in my stance. That's something he's been really preaching to me lately. Because and when I'm in help defense, I tend to stand um, like I stand up a lot. So. Just stay low, athletic, and just make plays. How about this team this year? What are what are the qualities you like about it? You feel like a lot of athleticism, good attitudes, work ethic. What what is the theme this year? Do you think? Oh, we're a bunch of hardworking kids. We've been playing together our whole lives, going to the Troop Civic Center and stuff. So, like our team chemistry and bonding, I feel is there, and it's going to help us a lot this year. Of course, uh, we've talked to you a couple different times in the last yeah. year uh, with baseball as well. And let's talk about when you're not playing basketball, what you're trying to do to have fun? You know, just um, going out with my friends, having fun there, um, you know, always working on something, if it's baseball or basketball, just trying to stay active. How about in the halls at, at Mid Valley? Talk about what you guys try to do uh, in school to, to keep things light, and obviously you got to do your studies and stuff mm -hmm. like that, but, but also try to have some fun and have a little pride. You know, in the hallways and stuff, 
we we'll see each other like we'll like say like what up be like you ready for the like the game or practice like what we expect from the season just you know great friendships on the team we have Keystone College uh, looks like the next step for you yeah uh, baseball yes and uh, talk about why uh, why Keystone College I've always had a dream of going to Keystone growing up just being from like around in the area just knowing kids have gone up there I feel like it'll be a good fit still liking that math in school too huh yeah love, <laughs> love math especially with coach Kelly over here all right well we wish you the best of luck and uh, have a good 2018-19 I right, thank you Mark Longo is with us from Mid Valley we're talking about the Spartans basketball team this year and uh, Mark let's talk about your role on the team what's uh, coach Abd expect out of you he expects me to come off the bench you know help my teammates go in the game be a leader on the court talk to them make sure all in gaps you know do the little things off the bench and I think that'll you know help me help us throughout the year Stuck uh, on the offensive end, uh, who are the guys that are going to put the ball in the hole? Definitely Shane Rosenkranz. He's become he's become an absolutely a great shooter on the arc. Mike Miller has um, improved drastically in the post, so he'll put the ball in the basket a lot, as well as Tyler O'Connor, who's improved the shooting as well. And uh, we have G Jordani Cardenas, who can shoot the three, and he can drive to the basket as well. Good league play. Talk about the teams you're going to play in the league, and there's some great matchups, and uh, hopefully you guys are going to pack the gym. Yeah. We're going to have some tough matchups this year. You know, Lakeland, we lost in Toronto, we fell. Valley View is another rivalry we're going to have, as well as Holy Cross, which is every year. It's expected. Uh, Lakeland as well, if I didn't already mention that. But those are some of the big games that we're going to have to overcome adversity to win. Younger brother, Justin. Yeah. Tell us about what he's up to. He's, he's a real pain. He's, he's addicted to Xbox, that's for sure. <laughs> you know, he, he plays um, baseball, but I try to lead him in the right direction, even though if he doesn't listen. <laughs> That's what those good older brothers are yeah, supposed to do. Right. Math and English, couple subjects you like, A plus average. So, yeah. um, you have a favorite teacher? Um, I'd have to say Mr. Yakak. He's an 11th grade teacher. I had him last year, and I had him in seventh grade before he moved up. He, he impacted my life. You know, he was just a great teacher. You could relate to him really well, and the relationship was good. And down the road, journalism, something you're looking at? Yeah, I'm thinking of pursuing a career in journalism. I'm good at writing well, using words well, so I feel like that would fit me. All right. Well, uh, we wish you the best, Mark. Have a great season. Thank you. Gene Rosenkrantz joins us here on the John Mandola Show. Uh, senior season for you. Uh, talk a little bit about uh, what you're expecting this year for the Spartans. I'm expecting hard work. We put all the work in, trying to get to the championships, league, district, go on, states, and just win with my boys. Ability to score, one of your teammates mentioned. Talk a little bit about uh, what your range is and, and how many you're hoping to put in a game. Uh, anything to help the team win. That's really it. Doesn't matter if I score all the points or nothing, as long as we get the win. Let's talk about some other guys you think that'll have that ability to score this year on your team. I think Mike, Mike Miller, big Mike Miller, our center. Pound the ball into him, try to get him the ball and let him go to work. Track and golf, a couple of the sports you're involved with? Yeah. Talk about what you do in track and uh, uh, how your golf game went. Golf went really good. We uh, A couple school records broke, three school records. Uh, track, I run the 400, 4x4, four four, and long jump. Member of the SAD club, so it's important to support good causes at your school. Yes, sir. Um, and math, let's talk about uh, what you like there and math. who your teacher is. <laughs> uh, Coach Kelly is my te teacher, and uh, he's the best. He loves seeing me like succeed. He gives me everything I need to know to get to the next level. Let's talk about the, the next step for you. Uh, wh what would you like to do? And are you thinking athletics going to be a part of it? Or? Uh, I think basketball might be a part of that. I'm not too sure what I want to do when I graduate, but I definitely want to go to college. I'm not too positive what I want to major in. Though. You talk about uh, the camaraderie you guys have off the court uh -huh. and on the court. You know, it's important to have a special bond. What's that like? It's awesome. Senior season, like with all my boys, just like, I love them. Let's talk about uh, anybody who comes to watch you play. Who, who's in your corner and cheering you on? Uh, my family. My family is the best for me. They can give me everything I need, to, like, need. It's awesome. I love the support. All right, Shane. Well, have a fantastic 2018-19. Right, thank you. Jack Kelly Jr. is with us here on the John Mandola Show. We're talking Mid-Valley basketball. And, uh, Jack, let's talk about your role on the, on the, the bench with Coach Abdo. What does he expect of you? Um, I, think, I think the biggest thing, Coach has established such a program that's uh, been based on defensive excellence that he's really allowed me to uh, do a lot of the scouting for us and, and try to establish the tendencies that other teams are going to do and, and make sure that me and him are able to discuss and 
and come up with a game plan for for all of our opponents. And, and you know, I'm very fortunate that coaches allowed me, you know, kind of input some of my own ideas. And uh, it really, it's really been a great relationship that we've had. And, and we're really, I'm really fortunate as a young coach to have that opportunity. Athletics your whole life, I'm sure you've been around it. Probably dragged at games and <laughs> different things. I talk about growing up. What, what sports meant to you? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I can think of when I was real little, going to my dad coaching Dumore, and then he became the athletic director at Dumore, and it was awesome because um, he he resigned as a basketball coach to spend more time with me, and when he became the athletic director, constantly going to basketball games, baseball games, track events, um, and, and the football games. You know, I got to, I was a uh, in first, or not first grade, third grade was when we became athletic grade, where I'm in third grade standing on the sidelines of a Dunmore football game, you know. Um, and it, it, it's more meaningful now, though, because um, he's been able to, you know, kind of be a major role model in my coaching career. And in the late night discussions we have, you know, just talking X's and O's, like even outside of the season, it's March Madness and, and sitting up late at night. Um, it's really special because it's really uh, been a bond that is a father and son and something that we'll never be able to take away from us. Coach Ab, to give you any of the business, you say, hey, is this, is this your idea or your dad's idea? Does he, does he give you any of that? Obviously, well, he knows there's knowledge he, he, there. He, yeah, I mean, he. Uh, the thing about my dad is I can always still see him when we play dumb war. He'll be, hit, he'll be hitting the bleachers mad because he won't give me any advice then, but... Uh, we, my dad has kind of had some of his things that he's learned from great coaches like Tony Cianci, Jack Farrell, you know, and, and then my grandfather as well, who was the first head coach at, at Scranton Prep. Um, so it, it's kind of been getting passed down. But you know, when I got when I got to Mid Valley, Coach Abbott had already established a tradition that now it's just really working hard every day with him to make sure we carry it on forever and ever. What do you like about coaching with Coach Abda? He seems to, he, he can be serious, he can be fun, and he likes to win, but most importantly, he likes his re relationships with these kids and seeing them grow. Well, I think that's the, it, the biggest thing that I've learned from him is holding people accountable, but trying to make these guys learn that what they're doing is more than basketball. It's becoming good men outside of the classroom and outside of the halls in the valley, you know. Uh, he, he he really puts an emphasis on giving back to the community, representing our community, teaching them to be um, key members of society and contributing members of society. And I think the fact that he holds all of them accountable, but does it in a way that's respectful and not demeaning, I, I think that's something that really has been great for me to learn um, as I continue to advance my career. Coach Kelly, great to catch up with you. I hope you have uh, a lot of success here at Mid-Valley this year. Yeah, we're hoping for it as well. Thank you.